plus, plus, minus, plus. <laughs> oh, pluso. Thank you for teaching me so much about the addition and subtraction of two-digit numbers. I could complete all my school homework with your help. Oh, I can't wait to go to school tomorrow and share my knowledge with my friends. <laughs> it's good to know that you have understood addition and subtraction, Amber. So, do you think you can solve some addition and subtraction problems right now? Of course. But we do not have a board here. Where will you write the numbers? Don't worry about that. I will arrange for a shiny new board for you. Here it is. Wow! Now I am all set to practice math with you. Okay. Find the missing number in this addition sentence. This is easy. I just have to find the sum of 45 and 37. I will write the numbers one below the other. Addition of the ones gives 12. I will write 2 in the ones place and carry over 1 to the tens place. Addition of the tens gives 8. So, 45 plus 37 is 82. Well done, Amber. That was quick. Now, tell me if you can find the missing number in this addition sentence. Um, one of the numbers to be added or addend is missing in this addition sentence. But the sum is given. I don't know how to find the missing number plus so. Don't worry, I will help you. We can use subtraction to find the missing number in an addition sentence. All we have to do is subtract the given addend from the sum. So, we will have to subtract 26 from 59. 9 minus 6 is 3. And 5 minus 2 is 3. Thus, 59 minus 26 is 33. To check if this answer is correct, let us add 26 and 33 and see if the sum is 59. Adding the 1s gives 9. Adding the 10s gives 5. You see, the sum is 59. So, our answer that the missing addend is 33 is correct. Plus so, will this method help us in finding missing numbers in subtraction statements? Yes! First, take a look at a subtraction sentence. 75 minus 20 is equal to 55. In subtraction, the smaller number is subtracted from the bigger number. Here, 20 the smaller number is subtracted from 75 the bigger number. We use different methods to find the bigger and smaller numbers in a subtraction sentence. Here is a subtraction statement with a missing number. You can see that the smaller number is missing. We use subtraction to find the missing smaller number in a subtraction sentence. We subtract the difference from the bigger number. Can you try Amber? Yes, we need to subtract 25 from 98. 8 minus 5 is 3. 9 minus 2 is 7. So the missing number is 73. Now look at this subtraction statement. The bigger number is missing here. We use addition to find the missing bigger number in a subtraction sentence. We add the smaller number with the difference. 
Go on, find the missing number, Amber. Hmm. We need to add 64 and 16. 6 plus 4 is 10. We write 0 in the 1's column on the answer space and carry over 1 to the 10's column. 6 plus 1 plus 1 is 8. So we write 8 in the 10's column. So the missing number is 80. Well done Amber. Let us go back to your tree house now. I am very hungry and feel like munching on a juicy mango. Sure, Plasso. But let us remove this board before we leave. View. Finding the missing numbers in addition and subtraction statements is hard work. But these points from today's lesson will help us a lot. Subtract the given addend from the sum to find the missing addend in an addition sentence. Subtract the difference from the bigger number to find the missing smaller number in a subtraction sentence. Add the smaller number with the difference to find the missing bigger number in a subtraction sentence.